Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my series called Learn This John Mayer Solo. It's been a while since I did the last video, but if you missed any of these, then please check them out after this lesson. Today we're gonna take a look at the solo John did with Frank Ocean on his song Pyramids when they perform live on SNL. Alright, let's go. in the key of C minor and starts in a way that really reminds me of Stevie Ray Vaughan. Alright so we start the solo by barring the 8th fret B and E string and then picking those two together. Then we go into a bend on the G string to 11th fret then release to 10th, pull off to 8th fret, and then go to 10th fret on the D string. Then we do this little chromatic thing from the blue scale. So 10th fret on the A string, to 9th, to 8th, and then to 11th fret on the E string. Then we walk up the blue scale, starting on 8th fret E string to 11th, then we do 8, 9, 10 on the A string, and then 8 to 10 on the D string. And finally, two hammer-ons from 8th to 10th fret on the G. So. Then we pick the 8th fret G string, 10th fret D, and then twice on the 8th fret G string again. And then we slowly bend, so we pick the 10th fret G string, and then slowly bend up to 12th fret. But we barely make it to this note before cutting it off, so... Okay, then we play this, really simple, just going between 8th to 10th on the G, twice. Then we have this tasty line. Okay, so we pick the 11th fret on the B string. Then we do a backward slide into the 10th fret G, pull off to 8th, then we pick, then we do a double stop, picking the 11th fret B and E string together. And then do a backward slide again on the G and pull off to 8th. So. the 8th fret twice at the end. Then we slide into 12th fret on the G string and then put our index finger on 11th fret B and play those two together. Then I put my ring finger on 13th fret B string. Still having my finger on the G string. So. Then 
and we go into this tasty band starting by picking the 16th fret B string and then bending it up to the 18th fret three times and then back to 16th so Then we come into this line, which is one of my absolute favorites. Okay, so I bend the 18th fret up to 20th and then I pick the 16th fret E string going to 18th, back to 16th fret, then bending the 18th fret on the B again. Releasing the band to 18th. Then we come to this little Clapton lick, which is a hammer on from 16th to 18th, pull off back to 16th, then go to 17th fret on the G, then back to 16th. And then we do a bend on the 18th. So bend, then go, go from the bend to the 16th fret on the B, and then hammer on to 18th again. Okay, I'll do that slowly. Then we bend it again, release, and then bend again before going into this. Which is rakes, meaning you mute the strings with your palm and only pick the high E string. So we pick the, let's see, 20th fret. 18th, 15th, and 13th. Then we come into this lick, which is also one of my favorite phrases. So we do a semi bend on the 11th fret B string. Then pick the 8th fret E string, then going back to 11th on the B, then 10th on the G, then 8th on the B, then 8th on the G, and then 10th on the G, and then back to 8th. So. Then we slide into the 12th fret G string, pick the 11th fret high E, do a backward slide to 8th, 10th fret G and pull off to 8th. Then we slide into 10th fret on the A string, pick the 8th fret on the G, do a backward slide into 8th fret on the A string and then pull off to 6th fret. Then we go to 8th fret on the E string, 6th on the A, 8th on the A string, slide into 10th fret on the A and then going to the 6th fret again. So. Then we come to this. Which is a slide into 12th fret G, then pick 11th on the E. Then we pick the 10th on the G and 10th on the E. Then we pick 8th fret on the G 
and eighth fret on the E. And we play this twice. Alright, then we come into this fast lick. So we start with a semi bend on the 10th fret G string, then go to 8th on the B, then 11th on the B, and then we pick the 8th fret E string twice. Then we go 11th to 8th on the B, then 11, 10, 8 on the G. Then we bend the 10th fret G and then do a hammer on. So we bar the 8th fret G and B string and hammer on to 10th fret G. Then we pick 8th on the G. 10th to 8th on the D, and then 10th on the A. Then we bar the 8th fret D and G string, and hammer on to 10th fret D. And then go into this little blues loop, which is 8th fret on the A string, Hammer on to 9th, pull off back to 8th, then pick the 11th fret E string, and then back to 8th on the A and back to 11th on the E. Okay, so really slowly. Play this little blues lick again, and then going into uh, hammer on to 10th fret D string, then pick 8th on the G, and then back to 10th on the D. And then back to 8th on the G string. Then we slide into the 12th fret G string and pick 11th fret E and we do this several times. I think six times. Then we slide into 13th fret G and 13th fret E twice. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, and then slide to 15th fret G string and 15th fret E string. And that's the end of the solo. Alright, I'll play this through from start to finish real slowly.
Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this solo and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, take care.